After a few months of living in Provo, after I moved here, I discovered the best dinner rolls ever on the planet. So I went to our cultural hall in our ward and they were having this wonderful fall like chili bake-off and soup bake-off. And they said the rolls were all just complimentary from the owner of Provo Bakery. I just about died when I ate one of those rolls. They are the best dinner rolls ever. And I will never make rolls again because you can just order ahead of time at Provo Bakery. And then you just go down at the time you assign it and pick them up. There's a few things you need to be careful of about Provo Bakery. They are so popular that as soon as they run out of things, you know, as a bakery does, there's nothing left. So they don't remake it. At a bakery, you make everything early in the morning and then you put it out into your cases. What they will do is make by order. So you can go online to their website and order what you want, and then you can go pick it up and they'll make sure that they make it for you. But like just walking in and expecting to be able to get 24 dinner rolls, not going to happen. And they run out quick because everybody loves Provo Bakery. They're wonderful people too. So I have my review about them on our blog, which is at movetoprovoutah.com. Make sure you go there so you can see all of my restaurant reviews there, along with many other really cool stuff, all of our events, places to go, things to do, all of that's on the website. But I didn't have good enough photos of their goods from the bakery. So I emailed them and they were so kind to allow me to use a lot of their photos. So a lot of their photos are from them. And some, of course, are the ones I took. Anyway, so you can see all of those here in the video as well. In all of my years of tasting donuts, I don't, I'm not a donut fan. The only donuts I like are Krispy Kreme. And the only time I like Krispy Kreme is when the red light is on. If the red light's on, I'm not going through. I'm not getting them. And I have to eat two or three and then I'm sick to my stomach and I don't eat them again for like a year. So I tried their maple donut bars. Oh my gosh, they melt in your mouth and their maple frosting is so, so yummy. And everybody I know, even people who don't quite never eat and choose to eat maple bars, were eating the maple bars. This was really, really fun. Um, so that was a great experience. And I love maple bars now. <laughs> um, there's some other really yummy things that they have there. Um, they make their own breads, which you can have. Their cinnamon rolls are really, really good. They make them in a little cupcake style holder. Um, and so it's just a different format of a cinnamon roll, but they're really good because they have that soft center that you must have with a cinnamon roll. <laughs> and they're such a perfect comfort food. Their croissants, oh my gosh, <laughs> they are so good. And they have a cream filled croissant that is just really, really good. But the classic one also is delicious. Their apple fritters, their apple turnovers, so good. It's just really good stuff. They have been in the community for many, many years. Every day at 2 a.m., the bakers go in there to start creating cookies, pastries, pies, and all those baked treats I just told you about. They have been a staple of the community for over 75 years. The current owners are Mark and Stephanie Tuckett, who took over the business about 20 years ago, and they've kept that high standard of the original owners. Mark's father taught him the art of baking, and he grew up helping managing their family bakery in Lehigh. And so then he bought Provo Bakery in 2002. He still runs the bakery, really nice people. And you just, and the smell is just so beautiful and uh, it's just so yummy. You know, it's just crazy. They offer great discounts on all of their dozen orders, which makes it really good for customers. And if you're in any of your church, if you go to church, they give you 10% off of churches, schools, military personnel, and servicemen. They also make cookies and cakes, and I haven't tried those yet, but you can certainly try it and then let me know in the comments on my blog or here on my YouTube channel. That is good. And then a really cool service that they do offer is that they will deliver to the missionaries at the MTC Training Center in Provo for just $5. So you can order a box of goodies for your son or daughter when they're at the MTC and pay $5 and the Provo Bakery will deliver it to them and give it to your son or daughter. Isn't that nice? And you can go, they're located at 190 East, 100 North in Provo. It's kind of downtown Provo area. They also have their website and you can go to their website to place your online orders. 
they just have so many yummy things. Like it would take me way too long to go over all of the yummy things that they have. But you can just go to their website and order, which is really cool. And I give them a five stars. Go ahead and read my review at movetoprovoutah.com. All of my restaurant reviews there. There's a calendar of events that go on for Provo and Orem. I have places to go, things to do, how to turn on your electricity, like all the kind of things you need to know when you move someplace. And even if you've lived here for a while, it's a great resource. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Bye.